Did you just double dip that chip? Excuse me? You double dip the chip. Hey everyone, welcome back to Double Dipping and Sipping. And we are continuing our Kettle Brand uh, series this week. Uh, today we have Kettle Brand Crinkle Cut Truffle and Sea Salt. Hey, we're doing the purple series, can you tell? Yeah. Oh. Everything's purple. <laughs> And we're going to Isn't pair, that kitschy? We're going to pair it with a, another purple, Weathered Souls Darker the Berry, mm. which is a Berliner style sour ale with double blackberry. Berliner Wheat Beer is a low alcohol tart sour wheat beer that dates back to the 18th century from northern Germany. Yummy. Yeah, this should complement. It's going to be so. me. It's all. It's got me written all over it. Oh yeah, I think it should complement the uh, creamy taste Truffle. of the truffle. Remember the truffle one we had from Lay's from yeah. Asia? Mm -hmm. That was a very good, very good chip. I remember everyone we have. Me too. <laughs> They're like our kids. <laughs> I don't know if I remember them. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> mine too. We have a lot of those. <laughs> uh, Weathered Souls Brewing Company is in San Antonio, Texas, and was started in 2016 by Marcus Baskerville and Mike Holt. Uh, Marcus Baskerville grew up in Sacramento, California and started brewing on a Mr. Beer kit his sister had purchased <laughs> for him. After taking a job in fraud management with Citibank, Ooh, <laughs> right? That's got to be boring. Baskerville moved to San Antonio, Texas, and two weeks after his move, he was involved in a car accident. Oh. I couldn't get an immediate fix to a vehicle, Baskerville said, so I spent the insurance money on home brew equipment. At that point, Baskerville was knocking out a beer every two weeks. He brought a couple of chest freezers and started kegging, and when he felt his beer was good enough, he started sharing it at local restaurants and bars. He then got introduced to Busted Sandal Brewing Company, a local San Antonio brewery, and they let him tap takeover, and everything sold out, so they offered him a position. Wow, that's he, uh, quite a career. Yeah. Even while working full-time at Citibank, he was putting in 30 hours per week as an assistant brewer at Busted Sandal. And while working there, he met Mike Holt, and the two decided they would open up their own brewery. Very cool story. That is uh, a wild and wacky. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's a that's a that's quite a story. Hard work pays off. 30 mm -hmm. hours a week plus your full-time job. Full-time job, which in fraud, ugh, that's got to be yeah. really daunting. Yeah, better be, better career in beer <laughs> yeah. for sure. Beer was his release, I bet. And in the days after the George Floyd story, Baskerville knew he had to do something in response. He created an imperial stout recipe that he offered to other brewers willing to donate 100% of the profits to organizations associated with the Black Lives Matter movement, and it worked. More than a thousand breweries from around the world have signed up to brew Black is Beautiful, and in doing so, vowed to help bring equality to the beer industry and society at large. Which, like we said earlier, or in our other video, that these beers we're doing in this series all kind of have a little bit of a backstory where they're kind of helping community, yeah, helping society. Yeah, give back to the community. So that's a great story that, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. I, love the, I love the stories and the, mm -hmm. just where people come from, how they started their career in beer and mm -hmm. ended up where they're at. It's an mm -hmm. awesome story. There's always a good story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this can too, as usual, it is kind of a dark, you know, can. It's hard to see. Maybe he'll put. I'll put a link up. There's like a blackberry in the background. It's pretty cool. It's kind of mystery. Mis mystery? No. Mis mysterious. Mysterious. That's the word I'm looking for. Ooh. Can you shake this? Just a little bit. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Does it smell like an empty glass? Can you cut that out? Because I. There was nothing in there. Okay. Ooh, look how. Oh. <laughs> this is a very good pour. Woo! Very sour? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> um, don't pour your beer like that. And now I have a mess. That is very, very. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Out of all. Oh, so it wasn't just me. No, this is a very, Some, very. It's very uh, carbonated. Uh... Carbonated beer. I don't feel like I poured it fast, but. Would you like me to get you now? No, I may. Woo, oh. let's start over. Poured that beer and it just kind of... Okay, we're back after cleanup. Yeah, yeah. Cleanup, <laughs> I'll really five. slow. Because it was slow. a very um, 
Is it, do I say carbonated or? Uh, yeah, carbonated. Oh, it's very carbonated. All right, so these smell like chips again. <laughs> we love putting our heads in the bags. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. The truffle right off the bat. I love truffle. Mm. And yeah. I know the last one we did that had truffle, we were like, what is a truffle? But we know now. We've educated our viewers. Mm -hmm. I don't remember It's what a it mushroom. Was. In the mushroom family. Yeah. And it's a very ugly looking mushroom. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think it grows underground. But and they're super expensive. Very, very expensive. And they're, they're hard so to. They're so flavorful. I, can't, I don't, can't even explain what the flavor is. It's just good. Yeah. It's very creamy. But like, again, we, we say creamy because it's. Like a creamy tasting, mm -hmm. very rich, earthy Garlic flavor. Garlic. Like you're having like a really creamy pasta sauce or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this one has a lot of salt on it because it's obviously got sea salt. Mm -hmm. But it's this is good. Very good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. And these chips are awesome. The I love the so uh, thick. bolder, crunchier chips. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it pairs with our... Mm. Oh, yeah. That is a great one. Ooh. That goes really good. It cuts Yum. down on the tartness. Uh, when they say it's a tart beer, this is a tart beer. It's like a, a sweet tart. Mm -hmm. Like a blueberry sweet tart. Well, it's blackberries, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, like very, very... A little bit like cherries. Like cherries have really tart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. got some I was thinking there. about like the candy. You know how you have those sweet tart candies and it, like at the back of your tongue gets all... Funky, or at least on mine it does. <laughs> she can never agree with me. Mm. But it's really good with that. Cut the sea salt cuts down on the the tartness a little bit. Excuse me while I keep eating because they're so yummy. Yeah. Well, I'll educate you on the bag. Oh yeah. So we noticed this on the bag on the last video that they have. Uh, a little bit about the kettle brand on the back of the bag. And this one says, like our potatoes, our community giving roots, we donate uh, potatoes to local organizations every year. And they give, they gave 55,000 pounds of potatoes. Mm -hmm. And here at Kettle, we take great pride in the community and in the community and the world we live in. Awesome. They're natural promise, non-GMO project verified, and gluten-free. And uh, you can check their tater tracker. There's this new tater tracker makers. thing on the mm -hmm. back. I think you can see where your potatoes came from. Anyway, very cool. That's very cool. Yeah. So even more reason why to like, like this brand. Yeah. Uh, I love well, the chips. Because they kind of have a good backstory, which goes right along with our craft beers. Mm -hmm. Where did we get this beer? Um, we got this beer from Tabor. I'm going to stop asking that because it's pretty much just Tabor all the time now. Well, you know, I look at Tabor almost every single day because they add beers every day. Two, mm. three new beers and you got to snatch them up while they're there because they sell out quick oh. on each of the beers. But you can put as many beers as you want into a package and get it sent to you at a certain time of the month. And it only costs fourteen ninety five to send ship. it to you, mm -hmm. to ship it to you. So it's a great deal. and. You, it is a good deal because yeah. uh, we were in the liquor store yesterday, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. And I would say that, um, I mean, they still have really good selection at one of our favorite local. At a total wine here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can only go a certain radius out. And, and so you can really branch out yeah. and get different flavors. Yeah. Like I try and get one. I try and get something from a different state every single time just mm -hmm. so we can spread the love across the United States. I mean, that's <laughs> what we're trying to do is bring attention to the independent craft brewers across the United States and give each one of them a little bit of love and showcase a, a chip with it. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. All right. One more in this series. So you don't want to miss it. Help us out. Like this video, hit the subscribe notification. And now we're asking you to share, share, yeah. share, share. Cause we just really want to keep doing this. Keep doing this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And until next time, no, no double, double dipping. dipping. From now on, when you take a chip, just take one dip and end it.